as a cool name. Okay, so this has changed quite a bit. We're going to see what it does here. <sighs> terrible. What a terrible. I'll tell you why I keep why. <laughs> I'll tell you why I don't know English. Um, I'll tell you why I kept this uh, after it fails terribly. Well, this should be weird. Unless he's going after himself, he could be a self-miller, which would be kind of nice. So otherwise, I don't have a lot to do. And if he cancels this Indulgent Tormentor, I'm really fucked. There's like nothing else I can do if he cancels this Tormentor. Yep. I don't like Cutthroat Maneuver, but I felt like I needed life gain somehow. And it targets my guys. I mean... I don't know. He has Unsummon for the Enlarge that would suck. There's so much stuff that could just go wrong here. He can counter my Tormentor very easily. God damn it. Wow, this blows. He doesn't have he doesn't actually have to do anything else the entire game. I just have to draw enough threats to play at once to do something okay that was kind of lucky except he probably has unsummon I don't know about this play the indulgent tormentor I'll play the chosen I'll get as much out on the field as I can it's not like I have a choice. I mean, he's going to unsummon one or both of them, so. I just got to grit these teeth of mine and see what I can do. Unsummon this on his turn. My 35 life. Oh, tap. Tapped it down is what he did. He can still stop the enlarge. That guy floats. Now the what a what a weird thing to do. That's kind of crazy talk, but now I can play this enlarge without being worried about anything. My ability still goes off, which is nice. I kind of want to pull cutthroat maneuver though and put like, something else that's actually good in there. Play this, enlarge this guy. I do seven damage to him. It's not terrible. Nope, you got to, bud. <laughs> Ain't no choice. I accidentally hit that all the time. So, happens to the best of us. I'll put that counter on him, say go. The deck is doing what the deck is supposed to do. I really don't know about this cutthroat maneuver. I got so scared after yesterday's ordeal with the uh, losing life constantly that I put all these cutthroat maneuvers in there because I thought they gelled with some of the other cards that I have, but the truth is that they kind of don't. My 5-3 wakes up this turn, which is nice. him man oh man the prowess is kind of nice there's nothing else I can do can you stop it no that's interesting See what he does here. What 
Okay. That's how the death touch works. So that's kind of perfect. Let's play this guy. That Death Touch Trample is amazing. I think this this match, that alone, that Guard Gomazoa, what just happened to that Guard Gomazoa and to his life, like, that shows how good Death Touch Trample is. Because it's insane. Because Guard Gomazoa stops all combat damage that would be dealt to him, but only one point of combat damage would be dealt to him. I mean, that works exactly as it's supposed to. It's insane. Made another Krabby Crab. I'm running kind of low here. Oh, wait, I won. Never mind. Amazing, because I've got the enlarge. Really, really cool and great and awesome. Yeah, enlarge this guy. I mean, that just about tears it right there, does it not? I mean, he's got block with a lot of dudes. Yeah. Block the flyer, but you three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. That's one damage to him. You can only block four. That's eight right there. You're dead. Doesn't matter. That's really good. That worked out way better than it should have. But I want to make a quick tweak because I don't like that life gain nonsense. Like, I, oh, I just feel so insecure about it, though, because I really feel like it's going to cause some problems for us. So what I what I tried doing here is, you know, I tried talking myself into the fact that we've got Agent of Fates in here, so Cutthroat Maneuver isn't garbage. But I really, I've never liked that card. I, I don't want to keep it in here. So let's go ahead and take that out. Uh, I lose the life gain, though, which is... Kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer. That's the thing. Do you have three open slots? Because if I put the... I, I thought about putting Tormented Hero in there, but then I didn't. For, for kind of obvious reasons. So then I kind of thought about putting Suffer the Past in there so I could instant speed, gain life, or deal damage as needed. Can't think of anything else. And also, I, I totally forgot Course of Might existed, so I threw that in there as well, obviously. I thought that would be a good thing to have. I mean, we could do the Intimidate. We could do stuff like that. As far as bombs went, we went ahead and just left the Whispering one in here and went ahead and took out Grizzleby Daily. Because Whispering One's generally what you want to play instead of him, to be honest with you. I don't know, just like a, a couple stuff at the past kind of feels right to me, but it also kind of feels stupid as hell. I mean, this all targets guys. All this stuff targets guys. But the problem is that this guy doesn't have Death Touch, so he doesn't work with my other stuff that I want to do. And it's only one life so when you think about it i mean one life can make all the difference obviously and when you think about it if you're putting it in for the life gain you, you'd want to do this because it's right it's face burn as well like it, it takes damage straight to the face so that's almost what you'd want to see more often this is tough like this is a really rough one because i just Feel like we're right there but we're so far so close yet so far away we took this out because my black stuff by and large has death touch anyway uh and it costs a little much thought it slowed us down a little bit maybe we could pop them back in though 11 one drops 11 three drops i mean that's not terrible a lot of my one drops are well, that's not true.
We could do Dragger. Cycling, unearth, unearth him and, and throw something on him, you know? One of these. I mean, that's not life gain. <laughs> Which is kind of what I'm worried about. I just feel like we're going to get pegged by these fucking decks that have that gimmick, that life gain damage gimmick. I just feel like that's going to keep hitting us. And we're going to keep losing to it because I don't really see any way around that. We don't have a way to break up their pieces other than brute forcing our way through. I don't know that that's good enough. I mean, we'd have to play against more of them, but you can't guarantee that who you're playing against is going to run that. Particular style of deck. That gels really well with Corsamite too. I know that I have like a weird soft spot for Viscera Dragger. I, I know it's strange, but let's go ahead and just pop him in and just see what happens. I know that's super weird. And as a two of, that's like something I never do. Um, but I really don't know what to do against those decks. And I guess that's kind of just a placeholder until we can find some way to counteract that. And really the only thing I can think of is Suffer the Past because they'll do the math to try and kill you. Um, and the only thing you really can do is suffer the past in response. So that's kind of the issue that I'm having is that I feel like suffer the past is really all that I have that I can use. It's not good enough. That's not great, but it's a bit better. I mean, our, our mana helps us out pretty well. We've got the 23. We've got to cultivate in there. So hopefully we can figure figure a way out of this. We'll go ahead and do the Chosen. I really don't want a Dirtle here, that would suck. So hopefully we'll draw something. Even just a third mana, even if it's black, would be nice because I'd at least be on point with some of these other guys. Uh, but for right now, we're just gonna have to sit here and see if this guy looks to be Boros. Got a couple more card draws. See, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, we're not gonna go out of our way to save this guy. So Undying Evil's not gonna get used here. It's fine. We'll go ahead and take out one of them. That's okay. Guy for a guy. Kind of wish I had another one in here, but... The thing I really wish is that I had, uh... Fourth Mana so that I could Death Baron safely have the Undying Evil open, make him a 3-3. Three, three. Much harder to kill as a 3-3. Three, three. Does our opponent have Mana Trouble? Ooh, shit, that sucks. God, that is not good for us, you guys. I don't know how you feel about it, but I feel pretty goddamn bad. Um, I'm going to have to take a couple turns and just get my face bashed. But I need to... I need to set up shop a little bit. I need a lot of mana out a lot faster than I can get it honest. So we're going to have to do that cultivate. This next turn has the potential to be really ugly for me. Don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Four cards in hand. Four damage. I'm at 15. Three mana showing. That's not terrible for me. Let's play this guy. God, we're really slow right now. Uh, this sucks. That's a lot of goblins. He doesn't even have to attack with Tutu. In fact, he won't. I'll kill one of them, because why the hell not? We don't have the ability to board wipe. I mean, we're in a lot of trouble here. A lot of trouble. Six.
Oh shit, this is terrible. I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. God damn, can I even stabilize? I mean, I can't wipe the board. If only I was playing one of my control decks. Oh, that's it right there, Goblin Bushwhacker. Cool deck, that's really neat. There's nothing I can do there. It's 10, 16. Try and skip blocking, but I can't. Amazing. So good. This game is well, well done. Good, good job, game. Um, so I just bounced that there. You got his win. Didn't have to sit there all day. Well, I'll tell you what I don't like, and I know I didn't see him, but I don't like Dragger in here. This guy really doesn't have any business being in here at all, though. Even though he's a one-drop. Child of Knight's got that lifelink. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's okay. But I always want to play it on my Death Touchers. There's no zombie that gets lifelink, though. I mean, this guy just comes back in. I don't even know. I didn't even make any cuts, really. Did I even change the deck at all? Except I added Chorus of Might. Son of a bitch. Because at least he gets Death Touch. I added Chorus of Might and I took out one Cultivate. And I took out Grizzle Beats. This deck's just got to be strengthened in a couple of areas, and we're okay. Give Tar Creature Death Touch isn't terrible. I mean, I guess I'll run two of them. We'll see what happens. If I took out the Graveborn Muse, I'd have two open. There's not really any way to deal with big groups like that, though. Not really anything I can do. I mean, when you think about it, I mean, there's just not a lot. Hmm. I mean, I could take her out and put in Grizzlebrand. Where is she? Took two copies of her out. I could put in one Grizzle Brand and something else. Because I've got other ways to regrip that are safer. Not that they always show up, obviously, but I don't burn my face off either. Somebody wants to take control of Grizzlebrand. I just wish I had some cards that had bonus life gain. Nothing would have saved me in that last one, though. I was just getting 
overwhelmed from the get-go there. There wasn't a lot that I could do. I guess we'll run it like this a, a few more times and just see if there isn't something I can get going. God damn it. I really want this deck to be good, but it just doesn't want to cooperate. I'm not sure what I'm missing. <sighs> I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep trying, though. I mean, these losses are at least teaching us where we're weak. I'm just not sure how to become strong, but... I'm going to give it some thought. We're going to see about this deck. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I will see you all next time.